hello everyone in today's video i'll be showing you all how to make soya bean meat generally known as tofu or awara in the northern part of nigeria i will also be showing you all three different ways you can cuddle your soya bean milk to make this particular soya bean meat like it's very very good because you can use this soya bean meat in cooking your soup your stews in making sauce you can even stir fry it with some vegetables and enjoy it that way but in northern nigeria you can enjoy it with yaji so to make this soya bean meat we have to start by making the soya bean milk the first thing you need to do is to pick the dates from your soya bean then just wash the soya bean you don't need to soak it just wash it after washing it you just mash it a little bit in your blender and then you peel it make sure you peel then after peeling you have to pour water into it keep it aside to soak for up to one hour okay now if you have watched my video on how to wash beans just use that method to wash the soya bean so the next thing to do is to prepare your yaji by using seasoning cubes salt pepper and ginger garlic powder for the full recipe on how to make this yaji i'll drop that in the description section once you add all those together you blend to powder your yaji is ready okay now you're going to keep this yaji aside then we move over to making our soya bean milk and soya bean meat now for this particular video i'll be showing you three different ways you can make or you can cuddle the soya bean to make soya bean cod or soya bean cheese that that you're going to use to make your soya bean meat for the first one here i used citric acid or what we call sami 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 in uh, our Salah language you can also use lemon juice just mix the lemon juice with some water you can also use white vinegar okay and also you can use fermented pap water this pap water has stayed for almost a month inside this um, container like when you make a pap the water that you collect from making of the pap you have to save it for later use okay now make sure that if you're using citric acid just a little bit of, like a little bit of citric acid in, in one cup of water like one tablespoon of citric acid in one cup of water make sure that the citric acid has um, dissolved completely in the water now our soya bean is ready we went ahead and blended it into fine fine puree now the next thing is to sift this soya bean and when you are sifting your soya bean you need a lot of water that will make sure that you have that will help you to sieve this soya bean so that you have only the chaff left and you have collected almost all the milk that is in this soya bean okay so make sure you sift your soya bean thoroughly so that you have your milk and you have the soya bean aside now if in the process of sifting your soya bean you discover that you have the soya bean is forming loss of um of foam you can just add a little bit a little bit of palm oil or red palm oil into it to lessen the foam now once you are done sifting you're going to have your soya bean milk and the chaff on the side just as you see in the video okay so that being done you keep that aside and then make sure that you scoop out all the foams that have formed on top of the soya bean milk before moving on to the next stage next you transfer the milk into a bigger pot and place this on a medium to high heat but not too high to avoid the milk from burning so medium heat will be better so you place this on medium heat and allow it to start boiling so once the milk starts boiling the milk skin that forms on the top of the milk you will have to remove it so you remove all the milk skin that forms on the top of the milk and once that is done we'll be adding in your milk your dissolved citric acid sorry we've added in the dissolved citric acid this is the first method and the first way you can use to cuddle your milk okay or uh, so what you should also have in mind is why adding this citric acid you don't need to add it too much just add a little at a time okay 
because adding it too much will also affect your milk from forming a strong bond or a strong cord that can form together so you just need to be adding it little at a time you don't need to add all of it so once you have added it allow it to start boiling and let it boil for up to 10 to um 12 minutes thereabout until you can see the cord form in the milk then the next thing you're going to do is to transfer this cord into a net sieve okay that that is lined with a cheese cloth so once you transfer this cord into that now make sure that before you start this stage your spices are already close by okay the yaji that i made earlier that is what i will be adding into this okay why it is still hot why it is still hot you're going to add everything there there's nothing like wasting of time because if you waste time adding it or for or, or um squeezing it it's not going to come out well it's not going to bind so if you want your your tofu to bind why it is still hot you're going to squeeze it or maybe place a heavy object on it so that you can remove the excess water from it that is the only way your tofu can form well because if you waste them like i said before it's not going to form so like i said once you are done tying it you can place a heavy object on it and set it aside to dry for some few minutes to hours now for the second method you also have to do the same thing you did in the first one place your milk on your soya milk on heat then this time around you can use white vinegar just like i did you can use white vinegar or you can use lemon juice any of them like as you can see me do you don't need to add too much of the white vinegar into this like we did in the first time you don't need to add too much just a little at a time then once you see your milk cord starts to form you stop then give it extra 10 minutes like before or 10 to 12 minutes to form completely so once your milk cord is formed just the same way you're going to sift it and and immediately you're also going to tie it up okay so that it's going to dry completely this second one i didn't spice it up with any yaji like or spiced pepper i just had to leave it that way i didn't add anything to it i left it that way or if you like you can add kind of a pinch of salt to you know to bring up the taste kind of okay before wrapping or folding it For the method three, I used that um, fermented pap water that I showed you all earlier. So make sure that your milk has started um, boiling. Also, you scoop out the milk skin and foams on top of the milk. Then the next thing is you add in the fermented pap water. Now this pap water, you don't need to add it too much. The quantity you are going to add depends on the quantity of um, soya milk you have in your uh, pot. So you just add some of this um pop water and allow it to start boiling just as in the first and the second method the first method remember we used citric acid the second method we used white vinegar and this method we used the fermented pop water okay like i said after adding the pop water allow it for some time up to 10 to 12 minutes to boil and then you have it your milk cord is ready so the next thing to do just as we did before you transfer into a cheese cloth immediately you can spice it or you may not spice it squeeze it immediately and then place a heavy object on it so that all the water in it will drain off okay or drain out of the uh to separate the water or the whey from the cord so once our cord is formed you have placed your objective object on it then you go ahead and cut it Before we proceed to frying this, I want to share with you some tips on how you can also spice up your tofu or awara. 
what you have to do is you can get a, a, a bowl of water then add all your seasonings your salt your pepper everything inside the um, water then to that you're going to drop in your tofu that you have cut and let it sit there for like 30 minutes to one hour before frying so when you want to fry just uh, place it in a net sieve and let it um, let the water drain up and let it dry completely pour that pour your your tofu inside your hot oil or medium heat and let it fry for just a few seconds to a minute or less depending and your tofu is ready so you can enjoy the tofu anyhow you like it but in this video i tried to enjoy my own with the yaji that i made like absolutely this tastes so amazing guys you need to give this a try and when you do please let me know in the comment section i turned out for you don't forget i said you can also use this in your soup in your stews in your sauce you can even stir fry it and enjoy thanks for watching